This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of derivatives of exponential functions. Derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x. Let's prove this together. Let f of x equals e to the power of x. Using the definition of the derivative equals limit as h approaches 0 e to the power of x plus h minus e to the power of x over h equals limit as h approaches 0 we can factor e to the power of x times e to the power of h minus 1 over h equals e to the power of x times limit as h approaches 0 e to the power of h minus 1 over h we can rewrite it with h as a variable which means x is a constant then e to the power of x times 1 equals e to the power of x. Using your calculator, y1 equals e to the power of x minus 1 over x, you will see this graph. When you check the table, you will see this. That means there is a hole when x equals 0. So limit as h approaches 0, e to the power of h minus 1 over h equals 1. This one equals 1. Therefore, limit h approaches 0 e to the power of h minus 1 over h equals 1. Or, you can use the substitution. Let e to the power of h minus 1 equals t. When h approaches 0, it is the same as t approaches 0 e to the power of h equals t plus 1, then we can rewrite as h equals ln t plus 1. Then back to the original, limit as t equals 0, e to the power of h minus 1 is t over h is ln t plus 1. Then we can rewrite as Limit as t approaches 0, 1 over 1 over t times ln t plus 1 equals limit as t approaches 0, 1 over using the logarithmic property ln t plus 1 to the power of 1 over t using the definition of e equals 1 over ln e equals 1 over 1, which is 1. But if you know the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, you can use that. Then let y equals e to the power of x, y equals e to the power of x. Using the logarithmic differentiation, ln y equals ln e to the power of x, then ln y equals x is down, using the logarithmic property, so x times ln e, then ln y equals x times 1, therefore ln y equals x. Differentiate both sides with respect of x, like this. Then differentiate implicitly, 1 over y times y prime equals 1, then times y on each side, y prime equals y, then y prime equals y was e to the power of x, e to the power of x. Now we know d dx of e to the power of x equals e to the power of x. We can think of it as d dx of e to the power of u equals e to the power of u times u prime. Question 1 d dx of e to the power of u equals e to the power of u times u prime. Then e to the power of minus 2x times minus 2x prime equals e to the power of minus 2x times minus 2. The final answer is minus 2 e to the power of minus 2x. Question 2 equals e to the power of square root of x times the square root of x prime. 
equals e to the power of square root of x times if we remember square root of x prime equals 1 over 2 square root of x so 1 over 2 square root of x it would be good or you can find it this way square root of x prime equals x to the power of 1 over 2 prime equals 1 over 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 2 then 1 over 2 times 1 over square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. The final answer is e to the power of square root of x over 2 square root of x. Question 3. d dx of e to the power of u equals e to the power of u times u prime. Then e to the power of sine of x times sine of x prime equals e to the power of sine of x times cosine of x. Now, let's see why this formula came out. Let y equals a to the power of x equals a to the power of x to the power of 1 equals a to the power of x to the power of instead of 1, write ln e Using logarithmic property, change the place of e and a, then e to the power of x ln a. So now y equals e to the power of x times ln a. Then y prime equals, using this, e to the power of x times ln a times x times ln a prime equals e to the power of x times ln a times ln a equals e to the power of x ln a was a to the power of x then a to the power of x times ln a therefore d dx of a to the power of x equals a to the power of x times ln a or you know the logarithmic differentiation ln y equals ln a to the power of x, then ln y equals, using the logarithmic property, x times ln a, then d dx of ln y equals d dx of x ln a. Then differentiate implicitly, 1 over y times y prime equals ln a, then y prime equals y times ln a, then y prime equals y was a to the power of x, then a to the power of x times ln a. Question 4. Now we know d dx of a to the power of x equals a to the power of x times ln a. So 2 to the power of x times ln 2. Number 5 d dx of a to the power of x equals a to the power of x times ln a then d dx of a to the power of u equals a to the power of u times ln a times u prime then 3 to the power of 2x times ln 3 times 2x prime equals 3 to the power of 2x times ln 3 times 2. The final answer is 2 ln 3 times 3 to the power of 2x. Or we can rewrite as d dx of 9 to the power of x. Now we have the same answer 9 to the power of x times ln 9. I will show you 9 is 3 squared to the power of x times ln 3 squared equals 3 to the power of 2x times 2 can go down then 2 times ln 3. This is the last one using this. 5 to the power of tangent x times ln 5 times tangent x prime equals 5 to the power of tangent x times ln 5 
times the secant square root of x. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below, and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.